In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the shader effect within X Lights. So here is the icon for the shader effect, and I'm going to drop it onto the matrix. Now, initially, you will just get a red screen showing that no shader is loaded. So, what exactly is a shader? A shader is an effect that's written against the graphics card that can render some form of animation or graphic algorithmically. So let's have a look at some of the built-in ones. And when I say built-in, they are all separate actual bits of code. And you can see if we go down, you get a preview of what these effects look like. Now, the quality of these can vary from developer to developer and the functionality can also vary as well so let's just select one so i'm going to select this rgb laser globe and i'll just click download okay and instantly it loads in now like i say there are tons and tons of effects that are available like this but at this stage you can just use them like any other effect so this particular effect you see we've got some uh, various settings so we've got things like you know the x and y coordinates so we can move this particular effect and you'll find a lot of effects do have the, have some similar uh, settings then in this one we've got uh, a color mode so it's got the, the default colors or you can see that it allows you to choose three colors in the palette so we can do that and we can specify this particular shader and this also has an, an intensity and a dispersion but as I said this will differ from shader to shader so let's just you know, just apply one more so let me have a look here let's try circle bloom Okay, and you see we have a, a different effect and obviously all of these settings change. Now, as well as getting the effects from here, you can sometimes search the internet also and find various shaders. But the easiest bet is through the download box built into X Lights. So there you go, that is shaders.